Greetings, everyone. About a year ago, back when I was a visually impaired rodent, we sponsored a Winter in the Wasteland build that was run by Jim Silva. Now, Jim and I built a couple of Matchbox K7s, and I remember thinking at the time, heck, <laughs> this is just outside to me. Then, of course, the three blind mice folded up shop, and each of us moved on to other things. George went back to his busy life. Paul became Ron Popeil, and Jim and I are still stripping paint off little cars trying to stay out of trouble. When Jim decided to sponsor Winter in the Wasteland 2, I decided that I would do two castings. I started with the Jeep, Willie's 4x4 by Matchbox, uh, and I bought that new a while back. It's a 2019 release, and when I bought it, I was thinking some type of post-apocalyptic project even then. Uh, something would come to mind, and when Jim announced this build, I figured, hey, now is as good a time as any. I wanted to do two castings, like I said, and this can often be a challenge, and as much as we like to think these little cars are 164th scale, often they are not. However, the Jeep actually is 164th scale, so I had to find something that was in a similar scale. After pouring through my castings, I came across this 67 uh, Ford Bronco that I got from Brian Free, and while I wasn't sure what the scale was, it seemed close enough. This year, Jim added a twist and that he wanted a monster to go along with the story. If it's monsters Jim wants, then it would be monsters Jim will have. I figured why stop at one monster when I can do two of them. Now I'd love to show you everything I did to complete this project, but if I did, the video would be about an hour long, and I don't do hour long videos. Instead, I'll just tell you my story. After Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin destroyed each other and their respective countries over the war in Ukraine, the great economies of the world collapsed and tribalism became the new norm. People ranged far and wide looking for livable places, and new communities were formed. In a little town called Utki Agvik, Alaska, a town nobody would ever want or need to nuke, life continued, but it was no longer the same. You see, the radiation had mutated Sasquatch, and now they were really big. There was also these creatures that may have been large birds, eagles perhaps. The locals called them Pirta, or blizzard, because they were raging and deadly. Well, it seems that Sasquatch had tamed the blizzard, and while the people of the town had managed to save some weapons and technology, they, and they were able to refine fuels from the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, uh, there was a new war. The battle for dominance raged, and encounters with the blizzard and their Sasquatch masters were often deadly. One good thing, though, Pirta loved polar bear meat. So there is that. This is Time Rider from the Great White North, and I'll leave the light on for you. 